Well, 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 Endeavor. Mr. Flame on himself has been out for a few days now. Getting him was a lot easier than I was expecting. Used my first 100 roll tickets in per usual. You know, got absolutely nothing I could have possibly wanted. So I had to take, you know, that dreaded tab over to my real life blood, sweat, and tears to buy some more in-game currency, these fucking red tickets. So fearing the worst, seeing so many others spending 500 plus tickets before getting him, I was a little bit scared until, oh, oh, oh wait, second roll, I, I kinda got him. Eh, fuck it, must be a skill issue, must suck to suck. Well I got him, let's try him, and let's rate him 1 through 10. Mr. Firestick is a DPS beast to say the least. Well, if you can aim. If not, yeah, you kinda gonna be struggling. It's gonna be kinda sad. But let's start off with his A quirk. So this is a steady beam of fire that does good consistent damage if you're decent with tracking your enemies. If not, you're gonna be getting like 26 or 52 and you're gonna be very, very, very sad with your damage output. The B quirk is the most satisfying part of his kit for me because he chucks a gigantic fire arrow that can span damn near the whole map. When it hits someone or something, it explodes into a giant pillar of fire, making for some great fireworks, especially once it's fully maxed out. And many times, I completely miss the arrow but catch people lacking by hitting them with the gigantic fire pillar making for even better, more satisfying moments because, you know, I can't fucking aim. Now his last quirk is his gigantic ass beam of fire called Prominence Burn. To me, it's very simple, pretty straightforward. You point, you aim, it does a lot of damage. Only problem is you're stuck sitting still for way too long. So I don't tend to use it that often. But his special action is something that really helps me out when using him. Because I am not good with characters who do not have much mobility. And he makes a lot of fights so much easier. You can dive in and out of fights almost at will just because of how much meter he gets on his special action. It's very similar to All Might where it takes a gigantic leap. Except for he can also hover. Or, at the cost of a lot of energy very quickly, he can also just jet across the map. But, that's one I usually tend to do very low to the ground when I'm trying to escape or trying to outmaneuver somebody very quickly. An example of that is kind of in this clip here. So, I spot Mount Lady just doing her thing, just beaming on everybody. And I try to do the same. I try to take her out and her teammates. Of course, I'm missing a lot of my abilities in the process, but... With his mobility, I'm able to just dip and dive in and out, slowly hovering in between certain actions just to try to throw off my opponents, you know, their aim was just a little bit. And then when finally get enough momentum, I just dash out and find me a bush to hide in. Now I love coming to this rock quarry area on this map with him, mainly because the different levels of plane make things a lot easier i can hop in and out and people usually can't follow me like dobby he can't really keep up sometimes midoriya can keep up but not all the time so i get to get in and get out whenever i want to so in this case i'm running up i'm trying to kick dobby in the face get him from the back when i think i probably am noticing that oh yeah i forgot about him behind me so i quickly turn around and just take care of him with so much damage up with it. I just don't think he was ready for it. Now, this is one of the rare cases I actually have some decent tracking, I guess you could say. And I take him out quickly and then I follow up with some terrible ass tracking. But hey, I still got the I got the down. So I get back to him and finish him off relatively quickly. But just being able to get in and get out pretty much at will especially on this level of uh, transversal is amazing to me and i have no clue why dobby's thing did not just like knock me back there but hey i'll take it and then being able to get back up and climb before i instantly die to his own <laughs> Is that an 
enemy. Oh, they're up here too. Oh god. Oh, where'd he go? Oh my god. Oh, that's crazy. I live like three seconds. These are no you dead. Oh, I should no be way. Are you okay? How embarrassing. Oh wait, teammate, is he him? I Teammate's him. Oh, I'm stuck on the wall. Oh, that's crazy. I'm finished. I'm cooked. Can I be him? Can I be him? No. You can be her. You can be it. You can be they. You can't be him. Nah. Hey, Mola. Recovery complete. Hey, Mola, I met you. Day Ola. You're a Day Ola. Okay. So the pros of never be Mr. Endeavor are very apparent. This man has high damage. His A quirk by itself melts almost everybody standing in front of him. The arrows just blast apart teams with ease. The Y quirk, again, is very hit or miss for me. If you landed, oh boy, oh boy, you are doing so much damage in one AOE attack. So next up we got his mobility. Mobility wise, I think he's amazing on mobility. He can quickly dash at the cost of a lot of meter, or he can jump very high, get you to different locations on the map, making transversal so, 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 so easy. And it's just something that I really enjoy on him. And not to mention, I feel like you can splash him onto just about any team you choose. He seems to work with three other DPS, uh, a freaking defender, mobility champions, no matter what it is, he fits right in because his high amount of damage and mobility does not make it awkward when you're playing with like a Froki or a Todoroki, someone who can really move around the map fairly easily. His cons to me are very obvious. Obviously the Y quirk in itself with no mobility throws off the flow of game sometimes why you have to use it from very far away or a surprise introduction to the opponent team but they're not knowing you there. If they know you're there they're gonna melt you out of the sky. Next up, he's very heavily aim reliant, and I am acid aiming, so yeah. At times, my damage falls off very quickly. Uh, the only other nitpicky one I got is he is smaller with a skin change, it feels like. I think his base skin, he's freaking huge, and then the other ones, all of a sudden, he gets all tiny and shit. I'm not with that. But overall, I would definitely say my final verdict on him is get this man. Fuck a fire sale. Just get this man. He is very, very strong in the ink. Oh, we fucking lost. Yeah, you suck. Yeah, you just fucking suck. I had four kills. Oh my god. You're done. You're done. I'm finished. Clap my cheeks. Cook. Hell no, dumbass. Ah, uh, so close. I knocked out the two. This is gonna be two five K damage. And I might use this footage for my.